Please welcome Lena Way. I do. Oh my God. Y'all look good. They do. I love this. Now, this was very exciting because you had the New York premiere of your movie yes, on Monday, 2001, and Ooh. you had it at the Apollo in Harlem. What First was it all, like? It's classic Sherry to say stuff wrong. Did I say it wrong? What'd I say wrong? I think Sherry's thing is like, you're gonna get facts wrong, mm -hmm. but we gonna love you through it <laughs> because you say it with such joy and gusto. I do. We were, That's what gets me through, girl. She's like, they were at the Apollo, y'all. This is how stuff gets. And you say it at the <laughs> shop, and then that continues. We were at Magic Johnson Theater in Harlem. Oh. <laughs> uh, and, uh... Oh, my gosh! It was we great. Were, oh, me, I was, was like, y'all was at the world-famous Apollo. So okay, you was at the Magic the Johnson. Apollo, right? Well, you was at the Magic Johnson Theater. Magic Theaters. Johnson Theater, it was fantastic. Folks pulled up, Joey Badass pulled up. Uh, Alicia Keys pulled up, ASAP Ferg. It was, it was, it was a, a beautiful, a lot of folks in the building, but the premiere was phenomenal and, you know, it was really exciting. To oh my home. gosh, I have so, much, so many people come out and show love yeah. to the movie, Thousand and One. Thousand and One. Now, Lena, I love you so much because I didn't know you I and I you met too. you through my bestie, thank you, Kim Whitley. Kim Whitley. Kim, Kim Whitley. <laughs> Uh, and you, you, you call her auntie, but it's like literally you treat her like the the child. She yeah. treats you like the auntie. Correct. You so hard on Kim. You. <laughs> I just I want Kim to not floss on screen when y'all doing the podcast. <laughs> yeah, we do our podcast. You listen to our podcast, Too I Funny listen, Mamas. I watch it on YouTube. If you haven't seen Too Funny Mamas, please make sure you subscribe. <laughs> Thank you. And get tickets. Um, no, I love Kim. And that's funny because, you know, she was in the, the lovely Thanksgiving episode. Yes. Because she wasn't living out here in New York. We were filming out here in New York. They were like, let's just get somebody Kim Whitley-esque. I was like, <laughs> impossible. Impossible. Um, and so Kim found a way to be out here. And, uh, you know, Kim like, well, look, I'll get on a plane. I'll figure it out. And she did. And, you know, the rest is history. And the rest is history yes. for Master of None. I have to tell you, and we did this for Kim because she was like, y'all better talk about me when, when you here. So, Kim, we love you. Kim, you with us. Your okay. spirit with us. There we go. Now, I want to tell you, I love the shy. Thank I love the shy. Well. Congratulations. Thank you. And I am not going to say this wrong. Congratulations on the sixth season. What, what can we expect? Six seasons. Season six, man. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing. And uh, it's like, you know, it's like it's our Jordan year. Yeah. You know, Jordan has six rings, you know, and mm -hmm. for us to be in our sixth season of The Shy and our premiere date, which I can't say right now, but it, the numbers are, like, really cool. That's all I'll say when they okay. gave me the date. I was like, oh, snap. Now, uh, so, yeah, but yeah, but it's, it's going to be a very special season. I, I'll say this. It's, it'll be a season unlike any other season of The Shy. Okay. It'll be a season unlike any other season. Like any other season of The Shy. Um, and, not, and, and not everybody survives this season. Oh, damn. Not everybody survives. This is, the Shy just captures so much about even just Chicago. Mm -hmm. And I do have to ask you this. I've seen a number of people. You've written roles for Candy Burris. You wrote a really great I role for DeBrad, who's from Chicago. I am from Chicago. I've never Iman Shumper. I've never been on The Shy. Here's you the like, hilarious oh. part. Wait, you we never... had a role for you. What kind of role did you have? Um, you know, I'll, I'll say this because we already cast somebody and she's super dope. <laughs> She's a Chicago actor. I'm a Chicago actor! But you're here every day. I know. And I put the call, I was like, yo, let's see if we can get Kim Sherry. Kim Whitley is salving at the mouth to take my place while I go do another role. Well, look, but we hit, and they was like, it don't work out with your schedule. Okay. I don't even know if I want to tell, because people are going to be, oh, but no, but look, it, what I believe is this, because with Tiana Taylor, who we're going to be talking about yes. very soon with A.B., Tiana, the amazing Tiana Taylor. Yes, yes please give it up. so amazing. Every time I would see her out at a party, you yeah. know, in L.A. and wherever we were, she would be like, when is it happening? When are we doing it? When okay. are you putting me in something? And I was like, we cannot doubt God's timing. Okay. That's right. So and now... When the time comes, it's going to be special. 
Oh, so you telling me when my time when it comes and how time is gonna comes, be special? It's gonna be iconic. I just this is all I want to say. I know this. This is the only thing I want to say. We gonna move on. When you write something for me, can mm -hmm. you like? Can, I could be a, a talk show host in Chicago. Okay. And I need a good sex scene. You write the best sex scenes. Like okay. if you write me a good sex scene. I go in the control room, you throw, um, somebody throw me over the control booth, okay. and we have a lot of sex. I got the whole, uh, got I'll it. talk to you about it later. Okay, and we'll, and we'll, and we'll cast Etienne. We'll cast Etienne. And we'll Etienne. cast Etienne. Give me somebody young. Cheryl Lee Ralph gonna be mad at both of us. Etienne has a whole girlfriend. He's my guy from way okay. back. From way back. He's my brother, okay? She's my nephew. Ralph is my older care. brother. Okay, look, you're not gonna sleep with your nephew. No, I'm not. Well, if you put it that way, damn. Right, exactly. Lisa, you already done got on the floor and did all the different poses. <laughs> this is why I you know, wait. Yeah, but it's if okay. If y'all could be here audition. at nighttime and see the conversation, this is why Lord. I love you so much. That's why I love Let you. Let me move on, because I want to just ahead. give you your flowers. You are a producer of, we were talking about Tiana Taylor, who's mm -hmm. so wonderful. Yeah. You are a producer of uh, Thousand and One, this yeah. new film. And I love the fact that you champion first time artists like A.V. Rockwell, Rockwell, who wrote yeah. and directed it. She's joining us later. But you always give people a platform. Is this something that you've always wanted to do? Um, I think I like being a bridge. Yeah. You know, I think that's sort of, you know, uh, something I take very seriously. And if, if there's a light shed on me, if I can stand next to someone and make sure that light is shed on them as well, then, you know, I, I've done my work. And, and working with first-time filmmakers is something I think I love to do. Justin Simeon was the first, uh, his film, Dear White People, yeah. uh, which turned into a series on Netflix. That was the first movie I ever produced. And, uh, and that was the first feature he ever directed. And then after that, Rada Blank, 40-year-old version, which you can check out on Netflix right now. She was the second black woman to ever win Best Director in the Sundance history, second to Ava DuVernay. Um, and then we came back. We came back to Sundance with 1001 with A.V. Rockwell, and we walked away with the Grand Jury Prize, uh, which is like winning Best Picture at oh, Sundance. Yes. So, so for me, I've had really, I know that's my, that's my homie, and, and you know, we, yes. that's the thing. That to me is what keeps me, is community and craft. And, um, and craft. you know, the craft will always keep me. Even if people don't like the creative decision I make, it's, it's about the craft that I really care about. And if you can feel something, it's better than the alternative. Absolutely. We feel it. Mm -hmm.